Hi Taurus, it's Elle here to do your December 2020 uh, love reading, general love reading. So it won't resonate with every Taurus, but if it does resonate with you, like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you for continuously being a subscriber if you are. I uh, know I've been missing in action. Okay, so Taurus, let's jump into it. Okay, what we'll do is pull a card for the past, present, your advice, and the outcome if you take the advice of the card. Okay. So, what's going on in Taurus' past, Lord God? Thank you for blessing us with a message for Taurus. The energy for Taurus in the past. Okay, all right, the Ace of Wands. All right, so maybe someone started to get more energy, drive motivation to do to act this is like when you get that motivation to i want to lose weight or i want to you know grow my hair out it's something that you know exerts a bit of energy and effort and um doing you have to do you know so you're motivated about something um it, it could have been a lot of sex happening too in the past maybe um there was some conception too here. Let's see. Um, in the present, Taurus, what's the energy for Taurus present? What's going on in the present? It's a situation. Nice. The sun, yeah. These two cards, maybe, yeah, there was conception here. Like, there's somebody. And now this could be conception of a new business of just wanting to be more happy, understanding that happiness is a choice. If you don't know, you heard me. Happiness is a choice. Um, or it could be someone made a baby or is making a baby or made a baby, I don't know. Um, it could be the birth of a child or the news of a child. Uh, presently, the sun card. I'm not sure if the child is here or is still in the womb, you know? So, um, it could just be someone getting, you know, understanding that, you know, they create their own happiness and happiness is a choice, or this could be actual conception, babies, pregnancy, right? Okay. And the advice, I, I, I drew a blank, guys. I was like, well, what am I pulling for? The advice for tours. The advice for tour. Okay, pop right out. King of Cups. Okay, so some of you could be dealing with either a Libra, male, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio in particular. Um, the advice for you is to maintain emotional balance. Okay, um, don't put too much emotion into the anger bucket or into the despair bucket or the sorrow or make sure that these buckets are equal in size and they're filled you know at the same capacity the thing about the king of cups is um he has all these emotions but he's able to balance them you know he's able to draw on them when he or she is um, ready to do so when it's necessary. Um, some of you could be in the, um, shit, did some of you get pregnant unexpectedly? Dang, uh, I don't know why that just came to me. Um, some of you are in the healthcare medical field here. Um, you're practicing a lot of bedside manner and you would need to be uh, emotionally balanced to do that, so. It looks good here for you. Um, also, you could be dealing with somebody who they like. They like the emotional ego to be stro stroked, you know. So they may keep exes around or people that they used to deal with around, or keep them at bay in terms of you know they know that they can reach out to them, you know, here and there, you know, just to uh, you know to flirt. Um, or get their ego stroked. So this could be you, Taurus, or this could be somebody you're dealing with. Um, could be dealing with someone who's very compassionate, very loving, 
um, you're not 100% money driven. Um, doesn't mean that you're not successful. So, um, you could be dealing with somebody in cancer who could be coming at you sideways, not necessarily coming straight forward and saying, acting in the manner that they really want to articulate to you in words and actions they're coming sideways at you um interesting okay so the outcome if you take the advice of the classes which is overall to maintain emotional balance um if taurus takes the advice of the cards seven of wands okay so there's going to be some perseverance there's going to be some so all your efforts will be um it's going to be rewarded you may even have to fight off some some suitors or stand your ground in a relationship you may make up your mind about something maybe about this conception here that happened uh things were happening too fast and you may make up your mind that you 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 need time or you may be warding off other uh, opinion here um, about maybe contraceptive I don't know where that came from guys um, but this is you warding off and fighting and standing your ground maybe in a, a marriage or relationship maybe even in business or a business contract um Let's start to clarify. What is the Ace of Wands in the past? The Nine of Wands. Yeah. Okay. So. You thought something was over. And at one point it might have not been worth fighting for. Or you stopped fighting for this. You stopped striving for this. You kind of took a step back. There's somebody at a distance from you also. Um, this could be a Sagittarius. You stopped putting all your energy into this because you didn't know what was going on here. Um, oh my God. Someone was keeping a secret, maybe about a baby. Yeah, five of swords, yeah. Um, ultimate betrayal. You felt as if someone was being sneaky. Sneaky, um, manipulative. You found out something there, maybe in this love affair that was supposed to be secret, okay? Um, that's, that somebody's having a baby or a baby was made. That's all I see. Um, you found it out with the Five of Swords here. Um, you start digging or, or there was gossip. Someone could have told you. It put you at a place of thinking about your failure. What is this about? Put you at a place of thinking about your failure. Let's see. What is this for? Eight of Swords. You are constantly thinking about the other person. Um, the relationship, the merger, the sex, the intimacy that you used to have, the other person's finances. Um, something make, is making you stuck, but also making you feel it as if you need to cut off someone or something. One more card on this. Yeah, all right, so there's a lot of change to this love affair because of this news that is out. It has made you feel left out in the cold. It's made you feel barren, empty, impoverished. Something about news that came to you that made you feel less than or... If it didn't make you feel less than or, or this is not you, you made the other person feel left out or less than um, 
Very, very. Someone's just feeling a uh, heavy, heavy despair. Why is the sun here currently? The five of cups. All right. So trying to stay happy and happy for and ha and be joyous for five of cups. Even though um, this is an issue of someone's trying to stay happy. You have five, five, five here. It's a lot of change that happened in this relationship. Someone's looking at what is happening and what has happened to the third party situation. And they're just not sure if they can rekindle or you guys can rebuild because of some news that was has been let out. See, somebody was somebody was in the dark at one time with that moon card there. Um, and now there's the light, the sun. It's like some some information that was being withheld because someone was being sneaky, was sneaking around with someone. Um, now it's um, it's out. The cat is out of the bag. Okay. Um, and it's making you you're hesitating before making this decision to possibly cut this person. Cut them completely off. Cut them completely out. Um, or vice versa. They cut you off. They cut you out. Um, maybe this baby news was too much for them. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. King of Cups as your advice. So some news came into you and it rattled you. It has rattled you. It is rattling you. It has destabilized you. Point blank period. And the cards are asking you to remain emotionally balanced because um, you don't know the whole story is what I'm hearing. Okay, King of Cups, or maybe you do, but they just want you to remain emotionally balanced. Like, don't go out of, off the handle here. Yeah. So the King of Cups here is with the Wheel of Fortune, says that some changes some inevitable fate was happening here. Maybe with a Piscean person or Sagittarius person. Um, so some destiny kicked in here. It was destined in terms of some masculine energy. Um, it's almost telling you just to remain emotionally balanced. You knew of a person's, a particular person's reputation you knew of um, their background, what they had to offer or lack thereof. Give me one more card for the King of Cups and the World of Court. Okay. Six of Pentacles, yeah. It says remain emotionally balanced. It looks like maybe some money will come into you or your fortune will change. Um, you'll get to a better place of health and fitness. Um, and you might even get into a better relationship that serves you. Well, you'll feel like um, there's a greater sense of service. Like it's, it, the relationship is bigger than just the relationship. You guys are building something together. It also says that maybe you knew that there were two party. There was a party given to two people. One party given to two people or two situations. There was a divided effort here. Um, um, I feel like someone's trying to make you feel, make you homeless or make you have less money. Um, you feel like there's an ultimate betrayal. You feel like there's going to have to be a fight to the death for your money, for your freedom, for your, um, Looks like separation. Seven of Wands in the outcome. Standing your ground. Seven of Wands in the outcome. Seven of Wands in the outcome. Okay. The Three of Cups. Um, somebody may want you to still participate in the third party situation here.
Yeah, someone may still want you to participate in the third party situation. And it says, stand your ground. If you don't want to do that, if you don't want to have that type of relationship with that person, cut it off, cut them off. You don't need it. Yep. It says, be strong enough to kind of sever this tie, this sexual. It could seem like it's a... For one party, it's all about the sex, and for the other party, it might have been emotions involved. But this is just going to lead to a division of the heart. Somebody's already divided in their heart space and in their mind and in their emotion about you and another person, or vice versa. This is you about, you know, two other people. Um, you're divided. Um, there's a breakdown of communication. Uh, people are not communicating exactly what's going on or what they want. Um, somebody is just doggish. They're roguish. They're doggish. They don't... I don't see a whole bunch of caring. There's not a whole bunch of caring nature here. It's just a whole lot of you know, well, can we just continue? Can we sneak around? Or maybe the, give us a time, that person will get over it, and then I'll come back in. Um, sadness and sorrow here. Let's close this up because this is ridiculous. star card there needs to be a lot of healing somebody needs to get right back on their correct path their correct journey um someone needs to be fully themselves someone is um kind of uh dimming their own light dimming down themselves and what they want for the, for their own life uh, because they've been completely um up under you know up under a toxic relationship yeah the card said you need to just get, get back on the path to healing, to restoration, to hope for yourself. You need to get back to work on yourself, for yourself, on your the larger aspects of money in your life, like you know, savings and investments and uh, loans and um, real estate, things of those nature. Um, you need to get back to trying to heal that. Let's see. Last card. Yeah, Queen of Swords. You need to really be done with the past so that you can move into um, the future. It says that you've been through a lot of hardship that has pushed you, propelled you into uh, learning about spirituality, about yourself. Um, you know, like a, a come to Jesus moment, a really um, getting being so low in this connection that you had to find something that would help lift you up. Um, but you have to be okay, more discerning, and you have to be uh, more. Um, you have to be definite about this change. You have to really yield that sword. And cut all that doesn't serve you out. Um, you have to find love for self again. Um, maybe even, you know, um, a new career path. Yeah, you got to put yourself back on that pedestal. Put yourself back in that throne. You got off your throne just to get down in the dirt and play with you fill in the blank whomever this is, whomever this was. Um, some of you North know might be in Aquarius. Look that up. Um, it just says that you can have abundance and you can have a significant union and partnership if you choose to go in a new direction, a new development and start over. See, newness starts with you. A new direction starts with you 
you have to um, be open to uh, letting an old way of being, doing, die. Um, and then you can get back to abundance and fruitfulness and uh, fertility uh, and beauty. And just all of those things for yourself. Um, the cards really just want you to work on yourself. You should not be engaging right now. Right. So, yeah, this is um very interesting. Um, yeah, so yeah, just work on self. Uh, work on your own stability. And work on your own feminine energy. Uh, nurture yourself and your children. I see some kids here. Or kid here. Um, that is what's going on there let's get some moonology cards and close this thing out 21 minutes what can you tell Taurus what can you tell Taurus it's like a big emphasis on healing the feminine energy um I don't see the high priestess so I won't see that part but like um, healing that feminine energy in terms of relationships and your value system. See, some of you were valuing money, and if, it, if the guy was giving you money or is giving you money, you were equating that with love or control, manipulation. They just want you to, to really put a spotlight on you, yourself. That's not for everybody, so don't get offended. Um... They want you to know that um, emotions are running high. That's why you got that king of cups and the advice. Like, they want you to stay emotionally balanced. It's running high. Um, but they also want you to know it's a time to take action. A new moon in Aries. A time to take action in terms of cutting out some crap in your life. Okay? Because somebody has got you down in the gutter. Let me see. Wow, okay. Very nice. Expect powerful change. Yep. And it just comes with you taking the first step. Okay? Alright, so Taurus, if you feel like this reading resonated with you, go over to the website. Book your own reading. Um, take advantage of the Cyber Monday sale that I'm going to have going on. I think it'll be 5 to $10 off the readings. Um... I'm going to post that in the community section in just a second. Just let me get through these readings. Y'all just don't know how much energy it takes to do all of these readings. But anyway, thank you for being here. Thank you for continuously coming back. Um, happy holidays, guys.